What's going on guys, but Gaming Guy not here bring you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team wager. This is a 15k wager. Um for not not for this card. <laughs> my man, shout out to my man V Batiz man, OG dude been rocking with me for about um, about about a year, about two years, man. I think I think about it over a year, barely over a year. He get he helped me with this patch piece and to use for this game. Well, it's at least the borrow until you know he wanted it back for the rest of the night. So basically, I'll just use Pat P for a couple wages. So you guys might see him in you know these upcoming wager videos, or whatever. But I couldn't find a wager or anything, so I just ended up playing this guy fifteen k, like whatever, man. I, the strain is just having entertainment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is the team. Um, I borrow a Law Lawless team. Um, so at the moment, so it's not really my team. I'm borrowing Lawless team until, but I've got to tell you guys, I'm borrowing Lawless team until I get to a million coins. And as you guys see so far, um, uh, we're not close. <laughs> we're not close to a mil. So, well, so shout out to my man Lawless. Let me borrow his team, dude. Was super dope for that. Um, until I get to a million coins, you know, wages, get some wages going. Cause I need a team, man. And a lot of people don't play Unranked because a lot of people are so scared of a lot of people, they, a lot of Mutt players' true skills show when they play in reg, regular teams, dude. It just is honestly speaking. But um, enough about that, man. Let's have to this gameplay. I was playing against um, I don't even remember this dude. That's the funny part. But um, it was a 15k dude. This dude was um, pretty solid opponent. Pretty solid opponent, I would say. So right here, man. Second and three. We look. We just hit up to Julius Thomas. Can't get much. So, shot one yard. Start one to get to fullback. Dodge to my man. I don't know who that. Who is that? Patrick DeMarco? No, I don't even know who that guy is. Shout out to my boy Patrick DeMarco. That's much fun getting the Pro Bowl votes, man. Kudos to those guys. Julio Jones was already going to go. Was already going in. Devontae Freeman's name, the captain. So, kudos to those guys, man. Kudos to those guys with the Pro Bowl, man. Making the city of Atlanta proud of them, man. You know, we didn't go to the playoffs, but I still get to see my boys play in some sort of game, football game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so right here we have um, the screaming Bo Jackson man pick up a pretty pretty pick up pretty a pretty good amount of yards man. So we hit the toss right here. He just gets some super duper block shit, and we get right in the backfield. So second to go, I'm looking look. I'm just take off running. I see the end zone. I get too greedy. I just didn't slide, and this thing no off bubble. Dante Cole Pepper from so I'm like fuck yo. I'm like, I can't believe I did that, but it doesn't matter because we get the block shit. With Robert Quinn, and we forced the safety, so we get ball back at that. So now we have a chance to correct our red zone mistakes. So I decided to get on the ground because I didn't feel like fumbling again. So right here, first ten, we had the screen. We was, we was hitting my opponent with a lot of screens. He was not expecting that on um, this game. Well, even if he was expecting, he couldn't stop it for some odd reason. So second nine, we did a pump fake and it hit Julius Thomas. I don't have, I have no idea how the hell twenty four. Who that's Stephon Gilmore? I, don't have, I have no idea how the hell he just, just. Just toss. I don't know how the hell a cornerback just hit stick a tight end, dude. I just don't. I just can't see that. You're right there. He gets a block shit. I get sacked. Third and 20. Looking so I get up right here. I throw a super dot right there to my man Stephon Diggs, who's been playing so awesome for me um, in all my videos so far since I got him, man. We just get a Bo Jackson. Man, you, already, you guys already know how, how Bo got. How Bo get down, man. Bo knows, man. Bo knows. Dude, just an all around. Superstar athlete. He was a superstar athlete in both sports, man. That was crazy. So we get up a good. We go up nine and nothing. Pretty good lead. Fifty six seconds before halftime. Try to shut my opponent down. Make sure he don't get nothing. And I hate when they do that. Like we go waffle a ball and then they throw it to a receiver that's around that cornerback or linebacker or a slide safety, whoever you're using. He makes they make him go forward, which I hate with a pass. I really hate that, dude. Gives me less um. Well, it makes the choices more. It make you. You make you. Pick wisely what to go for. You know, play receiver, SWAT, pick. But I never get a pick right there with um um I don't know. I think it was the Ball Bowman pretty much. Um so right here, first attempt with the first one get open, looking and looking and looking. We pretty good read, man. To outside Jeffrey right there. Um get close to the first down. Um so bring up next player here, third and one. Uh looking for someone to get open. We're looking, we throw the dot right there to Amari Cooper. And we just I try to put a move on him, man. Try to make him shimmy shake. So 12 seconds left. Trying to get into the end zone. We hit Deshaun Jackson with the super ultra dot. And then we get the touchdown on top of that. Deshaun Jackson, you are the man for that. So we go a huge lead, 16 to nothing in the first half. So second half, man, my opponent's got to do so. He don't score in this drive. This game's pretty much locked down over with. Done deal. So he has to score in this drive. So right here, he even he hit a lot. He's been mixing a lot of fights. Like I said, he was not a trash opponent. You know, I give credit when credit's due. He was not a trash opponent. He was definitely making his reads. Like you guys can see right here, he pretty much dot me up coming out this second half. Even my opponent knows that he has to score right here. He runs, um, I think that was strong power. 
account. One of the other, I don't know. I don't run New Orleans. Um, Pretty cards play with Mafia. So right here, he like I said, my man was throwing dots. Like he know, he even he knows he has to score in this drive, or this game very well may be over. So he's making good reads. Nice play calling by him, mixing in the run, the pass. Man, right there we sent a little bit of heat at him. He was not expecting that. Bring the heel, Mark Spears, the third and nine. He thought out to the flats again, and he get pushed out of bounds, shot of one yard. So fourth and one, he ended up taking this three, playing to say he knew he had to get some type of points on the board. Because uh, in my rules. When you're down and it's a fourth down, you have to kick the field goal. Unless you're in the, unless you're in the fourth quarter and you're down. Because I did not honestly you have to go for it. But even the third quarter, I don't allow that. I had X open, dude. I don't know why I hit. I, I didn't hit X right there. Third and down, play action. My man Dante Copa was looking. Look, we just remember just ho chuck it down the seams. Right here. Tell me why my man Austin Jeffrey did not attempt to catch the ball. The ball got batted in the air. I mean, got knocked out of Amari Cooper's hand. And Austin's right there could have caught that. And he doesn't even. So I don't understand how defenders can catch tip drills, but offensive players can't. I mean, I've seen some offensive players catch some tip drills, but why can't mine, though? Why can't mine? Is it because I have to go with Alshon Jeffrey? I don't know. But he ended up getting the ball back. So right here, he has a chance. If he scores, he can make this. If he scores a touchdown, he can make this a six point game. And it's plenty of time. I mean, plenty of time for him to, you know, get the ball, play defense, get the ball back, too. So he's doing a good job getting a lot of bounds, man, saving as much clock as possible with his timeouts as well. He runs the ball, man. We uh, sniffing that out. His running back just somehow breaks off two tackles, man. So right here, third and four. I put my man Patrick Pizza in the yellow. So I'm like, hmm, I think it felt like a corner box coming. So I put Patrick Pizza in the yellow. Sooner or later, Pat P jumps it and gets the pick, man. Perfect adjustment. Check, mate. Well played, man. I put him in the yellow. And I don't know how the hell his running back catches Patrick Pizza. Like, Patrick Pizza, like, like, top three fastest cornerbacks in the league. Like, hands down. I don't know how the hell Pat P didn't get caught. But we have to remember run a clock out here, man. You know, just do nothing. Just run a ball, Bo Jackson. You know, just trying to run a thing. Milking that clock, man. Just keep on continuing to milk that clock. 32. I just run a wild. I got bored. I just ended up running a wildcat. You guys know I don't even run a wildcat. In fact, I hate that formation. So 19 to 3. Game's pretty much sealed up here, man. You know, unless he can get a touchdown onside and touchdown game. But game's pretty much over. I just don't see it happen. Um, so, yeah, kudos to this guy. Good game to this dude, man. We do end up. Um, getting a win, you guys. So definitely, definitely give this video a like, comment, rate, subscribe. You guys, let me know how you feel about the video, man. And we get a pick right there for Sam Shields to sell the game, man. More and more videos on the way, man. It's me, boy, GG9. I'm gonna let the beat ride on out. I'm signing out. Peace.